Tonight's State of the Heights will be focused on the future of the Boston College Athletics Program. We've invited, invited both Brad Bates and Steve Adazio to speak on this topic and to hear your questions and concerns so that the direction of the athletic program fulfills your expectations. So the message I have for you is this, okay? You can count on our football program. You can count on the fact that we're gonna coach them really hard. We're gonna, our kids are gonna play really hard, okay? We're gonna get better. We're gonna, we're gonna improve as time goes by. We have a chance to recruit. We're gonna, we're gonna keep getting better as a football program. We start spring ball on March uh, 19th, and then uh, we'll get a better handle on that. So you have the winter program, then you got the spring program, then they come into the summer program, then we go into preseason camp, and then bam, we're in it. It's Labor Day and it's opening day, it's home and it's right here. I think when you win and you have an exciting brand of football, you're going to bring great interest and that's how you do it. I mean, we could talk about a hundred gazillion different things, but the reality of it is, you will win. People want to be around winning teams and that's where it is. Now, what, what goes into winning? You know, it's a whole big piece, right? It's recruiting, it's developing your athletes, it's, it's having great facilities, it's doing all those things. But you got to go win. One thing you got to remember, Boston College plays every home game we have. Our team will be out there, and that's what we're supporting. I went to the Bean Pot two weeks ago. That was the greatest student experience I could imagine. I mean, it was just so engaging and exciting. And we were talking earlier, football's in the DNA here. We won two games last year, and students are coming to the games. Now, we got to get you there before kickoff. We got to make it entertaining enough so that you're there to the end like you are for the last game of the year. Coach Dazia, this one's for you. How do you believe BC football can get back to consistently attending bowl games? What will the coaching staff do to help the team be successful while also remaining a top academic university? Well, I think there's a couple things. Number one, we have to recruit, okay? It's recruit, 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 recruit. And it's my job as a head football coach to be the number one recruiter on this football program. So I'm driving the staff every day. You know, my, my goal next year on signing day is that we're gonna have one of the top classes in the ACC. So you have to have uh, great players in here, so we gotta do that. Number two, I think we have to pull our team together and uh, we have to have an edge. And on defense, we have to be a little bit more of an attack style defense and, and make things happen. We're gonna be more of a blitzing team. We're gonna come after opposing offenses more. And, uh, and I just think we have to build back the chemistry of the football team. So those, uh, we don't, you don't need to compromise uh, any academic integrity to do any of those things. In fact, I'm a big believer that, you know, I, I wanna have people that, that wanna excel at everything, that are, that are motivated in a classroom, motivated, they're just achievers. So that's our goal. Is there any thought being put into launching a D1 men's lacrosse program? If so, what would the process entail? And how likely is that to, uh, could happen? Our responsibility in the athletic department is to take advantage of that social <coughs> emphasis on athletics in ways that really expose Boston College to the country. And so through our strategic planning process, we're going to look at all programs and identify those that could be nationally competitive and nationally distinctive and figure out how we can resource those programs in ways that best serve the university. What is the plan on improving basketball recruiting in New England? Well, I can't speak for Coach Donahue here this evening. I know that what Coach does is exactly what Coach Adazio does. <coughs> They're gonna identify the greatest talent out there that can thrive at Boston College. You look at the history of Boston College in any sports, when we've been successful, we've gotten the best prospects out of the Northeast. And we gotta to continue to emphasize that, whether it's in football or basketball or any of our programs. Besides academics, why would a major recruit consider Boston College? First of all, one of the most beautiful campuses in the country. The alumni network is just reaches everywhere. And I, I could go to I can go to California, I can go anywhere and you know you know people will recognize who I am and they'll want to talk about Boston College. What's not to like? You're talking about an elite education and degree. You're talking about playing at a BCS conference. You're talking about going to school in what's considered to be the, the most favorable place to go to college in America, in, this, in, in Boston. Okay, you're talking about, from a football standpoint, we've had an unbelievable tradition here of first rounders, uh, first round quarterback, first round linebacker, uh, rookie of the year in the NFL, player of the year, offensive player of the year in the NFL, first round draft picks, second round draft picks. We just need to go back, we need to build, we need to get better, we need to improve, but everything's right. U.S. News and World Report, we're the 31st ranked school in the country. I mean, that's the value and prestige of your degree. 31st, that's pretty unbelievable. And of those 31 schools, only 14 compete at the very highest level of the NCAA. That's it, 14. 
And of those 14 that competed at the highest level of the NCAA, of the 31 top ranked institutions in the country, only one offers a Jesuit Catholic education. Many universities are now spending hundreds of millions on athletic stadiums, state-of-the-art indoor practice facilities, and other infrastructures. So what is the update on BC's state of athletics future vision? Is there, are there any plans for a permanent indoor practice facility? We need to have, as part of our strategic plan, a facility plan, a master facility plan. In that process, it's going to align with what I mentioned a minute ago in terms of how we're resourcing the programs that can be nationally competitive and best represent Boston College. And so the facility plan will align with those priorities in ways that we go out and raise money and can invest in those so that we're representing you in ways that are very private. The facilities are a key part of this. And essentially what we're doing is we're taking this athletic curriculum within athletic classrooms and we're using those two things in the hands of a very talented coach to maximize the development of our students. To sure, develop better athletes that can help us win championships, but if that's all we're doing, we're falling far short of the Boston College experience. We want to develop people who are going to be champions in all aspects of their lives. So they acquire a set of skills, experiences, a knowledge that in any future endeavors they engage in the rest of their life, they are leaders in that situation. But we're going to need your help. As Coach Adazio said earlier, you make the atmosphere and you are who best serves our program. I can't wait to see on, on opening on, on Labor Day in Play Bill. I hope you guys are all there. I hope you all get your fan shirts on screaming like crazies. And uh, really, uh, really um, want you to know how thrilled that I am to be here, uh, have a chance to represent you in your football program here. That means a lot to me and, uh, and my staff. And uh, you're gonna get the best effort that you can get out of, uh, I promise you, out of the football staff. I also want you to know that I want you to feel free to come to practice. I want you to feel free to, to, to you know, come by the, the facility. And I want you to feel like our football program is your football program. And, and, and that's really important. And, uh, just appreciate your being here tonight and uh, appreciate your support and your interest in all of athletics and, and, and obviously towards football. So thank you.